Hello everyone, Mrs. Brower from the WCCS Help Desk. Just wanted to show you something really quick because I've had some questions from parents and students about connecting Zoom. Um, your teachers would be sending an invitation that probably looks something like this to connect to Zoom. The most important piece is this hyperlink right here. If they've already hyperlinked, so that way it's blue, all you have to do is click it. This one's not hyperlinked yet, so I'm gonna two finger click on a Chromebook copy, same thing as a right click, open a new tab, and then two finger click or right click and paste, enter. The very first time you do this, it's going to tell you that you need to install from the Chrome Web Store. So I click that button, and then I'm going on to the next part where it's going to have me add to the Chrome Store. So add to Chrome. It's going to ask me, yes, I want to add to the app. And then I just gotta wait right here while it's in progress. Once it's downloaded, um, it just takes a minute to get back on. Again, it depends on your Wi-Fi to how fast or slow that is. All right, once it says launch app, I am good to go. Now, it's gonna pop up. It's gonna ask for my screen name, because remember I clicked that link already. So all I have to do now is put my name, and then I'm going to add my email for those that don't have it yet in case you have questions. If your internet, your broadband for your Wi-Fi is slow, you may want to turn off your video so that way it's not connected because video takes um, more bandwidth and bad Wi-Fi, ba bad bandwidth might make it hard to do this. So it's one of the options you can turn on. Click join. It's going to pop up here. Um, this is connecting to a meeting that I have scheduled. It has my name for now. Down here at the bottom, I see that my microphone is working. The green is going up and down while I talk. I can click that to mute it, which means the people on the video won't hear me talking. That's good if there's lots of background noise at my house and I don't want to interrupt the meeting. When I wanna talk, I just turn that back on so they can hear me. And then when I come back to start video, that'll turn the video on so you'll see me. Hi, I can click it to turn it right back off. Um, again, normally in a meeting, I leave that on, but if a minute ago, I don't know if you noticed a message popped up on mine that my CPU was getting overtaxed. So that's one way I can help myself is turning that off. Last thing I want to point out is there is a chat button. So if your audio is turned off, um, you need to ask a question, your Wi-Fi is not working well, you can type a message and it pops up here for everyone in the meeting to see. All right. I think that's everything you need to know. I'm done. So I'm going to leave the meeting. Um, once you leave, you'll get disconnected and you should be all the way off. Um, if you have any other questions or need help with anything, you can use my email. Um, the teachers also shared information to um, call me as well on the help desk line. All right. I hope this video helps and you guys have a great day.